Welcome to Hollywood Inside 1960s. Today, we take a trip down memory lane to revisit 20 of the biggest music stars from the iconic 1980s. From pop legends to rock icons, these artists dominated the charts and left a lasting impact on music history. But where are they now? Join us as we explore their journeys, transformations, and what they've been up to in recent years. Get ready for a nostalgic look at the superstars of the 80s, then and now. Number 20, Madonna, widely regarded as the queen of pop, is celebrated for her constant reinvention and versatility in music production, songwriting, and visual presentation. She rose to fame in the 1980s with iconic hits like Like a Virgin, Material Girl, Like a Prayer, and Vogue. Known for her boldness, rebellious spirit, and ever-changing image, Madonna has become a true pop culture icon. With a career spanning more than four decades, she has had an immense influence on popular music, shaping the genre with her unique and innovative style. Beyond music, she's been a trailblazer in using her art to convey social and cultural messages. Her imagery, choreography, and fashion have inspired generations of artists. Madonna has earned numerous prestigious awards, including seven Grammy Awards, 20 MTV Video Music Awards, and an induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2008. Her musical experimentation spans genres like pop, dance, electronic, and even Latin, showcasing her ability to continuously evolve. Today, Madonna remains active in music and performance. Recently, she kicked off her celebration tour in 2023, marking over 40 years of her career. Even in her 60s, she stands as a powerful icon, continuing to inspire younger generations with her message of freedom, creativity, and fearlessness in embracing change. Number 19, David Gilmour was born on March 6, 1946, in Cambridge, England. He became a music icon in the early 1980s as Pink Floyd rose to be one of the best-selling and most acclaimed artists in music history. Gilmour is best known as the lead guitarist and vocalist of the legendary rock band Pink Floyd. Some of his most iconic songs include, Comfortably Numb, Wish You Were Here, and Shine On You Crazy Diamond. His musical style is remembered for his deep, soothing voice, emotionally charged guitar playing, extended solos, and refined technique. Throughout his career, David Gilmour received numerous accolades, including induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with Pink Floyd. He played a pivotal role in shaping the rock genre, with albums like The Dark Side of the Moon and The Wall, considered timeless classics, outside of music. Gilmour has been heavily involved in social and charitable causes, donating millions of pounds to environmental and humanitarian organizations. Now in his 70s, David Gilmour remains active in the music scene. He released his solo album, Rattle That Lock, in 2015 and continues to perform at concerts around the world. Gilmour currently lives peacefully with his family and remains beloved by fans worldwide. Number 18, Cher, whose full name is Sherilyn Sarkeesian, was born on May 20, 1946, in El Centro, California. She is one of the world's top music stars, with a career that has spanned decades. Iconic hits like, Believe, If I Could Turn Back Time, and Gypsies, Tramps and Thieves, cemented Cher's status and helped shape the pop and dance music landscape. Known for her unique performances, striking fashion, and distinctively rich, deep voice, Cher has earned the title of the goddess of pop and is often called the queen of reinvention for her ability to constantly evolve her image and music over time. Throughout her career, Cher has won numerous prestigious awards, including Grammy, Emmy, and Oscar accolades. She is among the rare artists who have achieved massive success in music, television, and film. Cher's impact on global music is immense, particularly in elevating disco and dance pop genres to new heights. Even in her 70s, Cher continues to stay active in music and entertainment. 
In 2018, she released the album Dancing Queen, featuring covers of ABBA songs, which was warmly received by her fans. Number 17, Michael Jackson was born on August 29, 1958, in Gary, Indiana. He was crowned the King of Pop, with iconic hits like Billie Jean, Thriller, Beat It, and Smooth Criminal. Jackson is remembered for his unique voice, signature dance moves like the moonwalk, and his captivating performance style. Not only did he dominate music, but he also revolutionized fashion and performance techniques, with a career spanning over four decades, Michael Jackson received countless prestigious awards, including 13 Grammy Awards and hundreds of other music honors, an achievement very few artists have reached. He was also the best-selling solo artist of all time, with over 400 million records sold. His influence on global music is undeniable, making him a pop culture icon who inspired generations of artists. Beyond music, Jackson was committed to philanthropy, founding the Heal the World Foundation to support children and environmental causes. Jackson's life came to a tragic end on June 25, 2009, due to acute propofol intoxication. His passing shocked the world. Though he is no longer with us, Michael Jackson's legacy continues to live on through awards shows, concerts, and charitable efforts worldwide. I truly admire and love Michael Jackson's talent, and I still listen to his songs today. How about you? Comment. 1 if you're still a fan of his music. Number 16, Whitney Houston was born on August 9, 1963, in Newark, New Jersey. With her powerful and technically masterful voice, she quickly became one of the top female artists in the world. Iconic songs like I Will Always Love You, Greatest Love of All, and How Will I Know catapulted her to fame. She was known for her diverse musical style, blending pop, soul, and R&B, along with her elegant, glamorous image. Houston earned numerous prestigious awards, including six Grammys, two Emmys, and dozens of other music accolades. Beyond her career as a singer, she was also a fashion and cultural icon of the 1980s and 90s. Her influence on global music is undeniable, paving the way for many female artists who followed. Whitney's personal life was turbulent, marked by struggles in her marriage and a long battle with addiction. On February 11, 2012, Whitney Houston passed away at the Beverly Hilton Hotel in Los Angeles due to drowning, along with heart issues and drug use. Her death was a great loss, and she continues to be remembered as one of the greatest voices in music history. Number 15, George Michael born Georgios Kyriakos Panayoto on June 25, 1963, in East Finchley, London, England, was one of the most iconic singers and songwriters of the 1980s, known for a series of timeless hits. Some of his most famous songs include, Careless Whisper, Last Christmas, and, Faith. He started his musical career with the group Wham! Before branching out and finding tremendous success as a solo artist, George Michael is remembered for his unique blend of pop, soul, and R&B, as well as his emotionally charged voice. He was also known for his striking looks and sharp fashion sense, which helped define the trends of the 80s. Throughout his career, George Michael won numerous prestigious awards, including Grammys, MTV Video Music Awards, and Brit Awards, leaving an indelible mark on his fans. Beyond music, he was also a philanthropist, regularly contributing to charitable causes and social activism, particularly in the fight against HIV. AIDS, George Michael passed away on December 25, 2016, due to heart disease and fatty liver. His death left a deep sense of loss among fans and the music community. In his memory, 
Many artists have held tribute performances and events to honor the musical legacy of this legend. Number 14, Cindy Lauper was born on June 22, 1953, in Brooklyn, New York. She rose to fame with several hit songs, most notably, Girls Just Want to Have Fun, Time After Time, True Colors, and She Bop. Her music blends pop, punk, and new wave influences, complemented by her distinctive voice and bold, colorful fashion sense, Lauper became an icon of the 1980s, known for her quirky image and strong personality. She has won numerous prestigious awards, including a Grammy, an Emmy, and a Tony, showcasing her versatile talents in both music and performance arts. Beyond her role as a singer, she has been a leading advocate for LGBTQ rights, making a significant impact worldwide. Today, Lopper remains active in both music and social causes. In 2016, she released the album, Detour, incorporating country music elements. She also continues to engage in humanitarian and artistic projects. Cindy Lauper's influence transcends time, leaving an enduring legacy in global pop music and culture. Number 13, Phil Collins was born on January 30, 1951, in Chiswick, London, England. He is a renowned singer, songwriter, music producer, and actor, best known as a member of the band Genesis, as well as for his highly successful solo career. Some of his iconic songs that have defined his legacy include, In the Air Tonight, Against All Odds, Take a Look at Me Now, and Another Day in Paradise. Collins is celebrated for his emotive voice, energetic performance style, and his ability to play multiple instruments, especially the drums. With a remarkable music career, Phil Collins has received numerous prestigious awards, including eight Grammy Awards, six Brit Awards, and an Oscar. He was also inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame alongside Genesis. Collins' influence on global music is vast, not only in pop and rock but also extending into other genres, beyond his artistry. Collins has been involved in various social causes, contributing to charitable organizations and showing concern for environmental issues. In recent years, Collins has faced several health challenges, particularly a spinal injury that has made it difficult for him to continue performing. However, he still makes occasional appearances with Genesis. Despite his health struggles, Collins remains beloved by fans worldwide and is remembered as a music legend. Number 12, Gloria Estefan, born on September 1, 1957, in Havana, Cuba, is one of the most renowned Latin pop artists in the world. She began her music career with the Miami Sound Machine in the 1980s. Some of the standout hits that propelled her to international stardom include Conga, Rhythm Is Gonna Get You, and Don't Wanna Lose You. Her musical style blends the lively rhythms of Latin music with modern pop influences, helping spread Latin culture worldwide. Gloria Estefan has won numerous prestigious awards, including seven Grammy Awards, and is often referred to as the Queen of Latin Pop. Her influence in paving the way for many other Latin artists is undeniable. Estefan is also an icon representing the fusion of Latin culture and music in the global pop scene. Today, Gloria Estefan remains active in both music and the arts. She's been involved in producing music for Broadway shows like On Your Feet, a musical based on her life and career. Additionally, she participates in numerous charitable projects and continues to inspire younger generations of artists. With her vast musical legacy and extraordinary contributions, Gloria Estefan remains an unforgettable symbol in global music.
Number 11, Peter Gabriel was born on February 13, 1950, in Chobham, Surrey, England. He is a renowned singer, songwriter, and music producer, initially gaining fame as the lead vocalist of the band Genesis before embarking on a highly successful solo career. Some of his iconic tracks that defined his legacy include, Salisbury Hill, In Your Eyes, and, Sledgehammer. Notably, Sledgehammer, became a landmark in his career, thanks to its innovative and groundbreaking music video. Gabriel is known for his diverse musical style, blending rock, pop, and world music, all delivered through his deeply emotive voice. He constantly experimented with electronic sounds, world music influences, and various cultural elements, resulting in unique and highly personal musical works. Throughout his career, Gabriel has earned numerous accolades, including six Grammy Awards. He is also the founder of WOMAD, World of Music, Arts and Dance, a music festival celebrating global music. Beyond his music, he has been actively involved in humanitarian efforts, advocating for human rights and social justice. Today, Peter Gabriel continues to create and perform. He is preparing to release a new album and participate in concerts, showcasing his enduring dedication to music and the arts. Number 10, Samantha Fox was born on April 15, 1966, in London, England. She is one of the standout pop music icons of the 1980s. With her alluring looks and distinctive voice, Samantha took the music world by storm with hit songs like, Touch Me, I Want Your Body, Do Ya Do Ya, Wanna Please Me, and Naughty Girls, Need Love Too. These tracks quickly climbed the charts in numerous countries, making her one of the brightest stars of that era. Samantha Fox is remembered for her sexy, energetic, and bold style. She captivated audiences not just with her appearance but also through her engaging performances that blended modern pop with a touch of rock rebellion. With her tremendous success, Samantha has received multiple nominations and awards in the music industry. Her influence extends beyond music, permeating other areas of entertainment and solidifying her status as a cultural icon. Today, Samantha Fox continues to be active in music and performance. She frequently appears in nostalgic shows celebrating the music of the 80s and keeps releasing new material, maintaining her impact among fans. Number 9, Sean Combs, also known by his stage names P. Diddy and Puff Daddy, was born on November 4, 1969, in Harlem, New York. He is famous for hit songs like, I'll Be Missing You, Last Night, and Can't Nobody Hold Me Down. With a unique blend of hip-hop, R&B, and dance, Diddy emerged as one of the pioneers of the rap and hip-hop scene in the 1990s. Not only is he a singer, but he is also a music producer, entrepreneur, and the founder of Bad Boy Entertainment. Throughout his career, Diddy has received numerous prestigious music awards, including three Grammy Awards. He is regarded as a cultural icon who bridges music and business, with a significant influence on both the fashion industry and pop culture. Recently, Sean Combs has been in the headlines due to legal troubles. In mid-September, he was arrested in New York after being accused of sex trafficking and abuse. The allegations include sexual assault, physical violence, and coercing multiple women to use drugs. Diddy has denied all the charges against him. Number 8. Christine McVie was born on July 12, 1943, in Booth, Lancashire, England. She was a renowned singer, songwriter, and keyboardist best known as a member of the band Fleetwood Mac. Some of her standout songs that contributed to her legacy include, Don't Stop, Everywhere, Little Lies, and Songbird. 
Christine McVie is remembered for her sophisticated musical style that blended rock and pop, along with her warm, emotionally rich vocals. Throughout her career, McVie received numerous awards and accolades, including her induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with Fleetwood Mac in 1998. She was one of the most influential artists in the music world, helping to shape rock music in the 1970s and 1980s. Her life came to an end when Christine McVie passed away on November 30, 2022. She left behind a remarkable musical legacy and will always be remembered through her classic songs. Her passing is a significant loss to the music industry, but Christine McVie's contributions will forever be cherished and celebrated by fans around the globe. Number 7, Robert Palmer was born on January 19, 1949, in Yorkshire, England. He began his music career in the 1970s with the band Vinegar Joe before signing a solo contract with Island Records in 1974. Palmer quickly made a name for himself with his powerful vocals and diverse musical style, blending rock, soul, jazz, and reggae. Some of his standout songs include Every Kind of People, 1978, Bad Case of Loving You, Doctor, Doctor, 1979, Johnny and Mary, 1980, and especially, Addicted to Love, 1986. With his warm voice and sophisticated appearance, he left a lasting impression in the 1980s. In 1985, Palmer joined the supergroup The Power Station alongside members of Duran Duran, contributing to hits like, Some Like It Hot. He continued to enjoy success with the album, Riptide, 1985 and the song, Simply Irresistible, 1988. Throughout his career, Palmer received a Grammy Award for Best Male Rock Vocal Performance in 1987. Robert Palmer passed away on September 26, 2003, in Paris from a heart attack at the age of 54. Before his death, he remained active in music, releasing his final album, Drive, just a few months prior. Number 6, Janet Jackson, born on May 16, 1966, in Gary, Indiana, is one of the world's biggest music icons. She is renowned for hit songs like, Rhythm Nation, Nasty, That's the Way Love Goes, and Together Again. With her powerful, captivating performance style and exceptional dance skills, Janet captivates audiences not just with her voice but also through her stunning stage shows. Throughout her career, Janet has received numerous prestigious awards, including multiple Grammys, American Music Awards, and MTV Video Music Awards. She is recognized as a trailblazer for giving a voice to women in the black community in the pop and R&B music scenes. Boldly expressing her views on gender equality, love, and politics, she has made a profound impact on the music industry. Now approaching 60, Janet continues to command attention. She has made a triumphant return to the stage with new tours and albums, including, Unbreakable, 2015, and her recent work, Black Diamond. Janet also dedicates time to her family and charitable endeavors. Her musical legacy continues to strongly influence generations of artists, solidifying her status as a music legend. Number 5, Billy Ocean, born Leslie Sebastian Charles on January 21, 1950, in Faisabad, Trinidad and Tobago, moved to the UK with his family at a young age and began his music career there. He is best known for his classic hits like, Caribbean Queen, Get Out of My Dreams, Get Into My Car, and When the Going Gets Tough, The Tough Get Going. Ocean's musical style is a seamless blend of pop, R&B, soul, and reggae characterized by his powerful and emotive vocals. Billy Ocean has received numerous prestigious awards, including a Grammy for Best Male R&B Vocal Performance in 1985 for Caribbean Queen. 
He is remembered as one of the icons of 80s pop and R&B, greatly influencing many artists who came after him. Beyond his musical career, Ocean is actively involved in charitable activities and is a strong advocate for music education. Today, Billy Ocean continues to thrive in the music industry. He released a new album titled, One World, in 2020 and frequently goes on tour. Even at the age of 70, he maintains a strong voice and a passionate love for music. Number 4, Pat Benatar, born Patricia May and Jayevsky on January 10, 1953, in Brooklyn, New York, is one of the most iconic female voices of the 1980s. She is best known for a string of hit songs, including, Hit Me With Your Best Shot, Love Is A Battlefield, We Belong, and Heartbreaker. Benatar's musical style is characterized by a powerful rock sound and a strong feminist presence, highlighted by her commanding vocals and captivating performances. Throughout her illustrious career, Pat Benatar has won four Grammy Awards and received numerous nominations. She has become a rock music icon, known for her strong, distinctive image, and has had a profound influence on many female artists who followed. Benatar is not only celebrated for her hits but is also recognized as a pioneer in establishing women's roles in the rock music scene. Today, Pat Benatar continues to make music alongside her husband, Neil Geraldo. The couple frequently tours around the world, showcasing their unwavering passion for music. In 2022, she was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, marking a significant acknowledgement of her musical legacy. Pat Benatar's impact on the rock genre remains celebrated, inspiring generations of young artists. Number 3, Axel Rose, born William Bruce Rose Jr. on February 6, 1962, in Lafayette, Indiana, rose to fame in the 1980s and 1990s as the lead vocalist and songwriter for the rock band Guns N' Roses. The band's debut album, Appetite for Destruction, 1987, became a phenomenon, selling over 30 million copies worldwide, marking a significant milestone in Axel's career with hit songs like Sweet Child O' Mine, Welcome to the Jungle, and Paradise City, Source, Wikipedia. Axel Rose is recognized for his unique, powerful voice and energetic stage presence. With a wide vocal range, he is considered one of the greatest rock singers of all time. Axel is also known for his distinctive style, often sporting ripped jeans, graphic t-shirts, and his signature bandana. Source. AxelRose.com, throughout his career, Axel has received numerous awards and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2012. Despite facing various controversies and periods of hiatus, he has made a comeback with touring alongside Guns N' Roses. Now at the age of 60, Axel Rose continues to perform. During recent shows in Singapore in 2022, he drew attention with his fit appearance and fresh style. Number 2, Debbie Harry, born July 1, 1945, in Miami, Florida, is one of the biggest music icons of the 1970s and 1980s. As the lead singer of Blondie, Debbie turned numerous songs into classics, including Heart of Glass, Call Me, One Way or Another, and Rapture. With her unique voice, cool demeanor, and pioneering fashion sense, Debbie Harry played a significant role in shaping the punk rock and new wave genres. Her style is a bold blend of punk, glam rock, and pop, making her an unmistakable fashion and music icon. She is remembered for her striking blonde hair, alluring makeup, and strong, distinctive personality. With a slew of awards and recognition, Debbie Harry and Blondie have had a profound influence on many artists who followed, paving the way for the development of pop-punk and new-wave music.
The band was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2006, solidifying their place in music history. Today, Debbie Harry continues to thrive in the music and arts scene. She actively performs, records, and appears at music events. Her current life reflects an enduring passion for music, and she remains a significant cultural icon. Number 1, Tom Petty was born on October 20, 1950, in Gainesville, Florida. He is one of the most famous music stars of the 1980s, best known as the lead singer of Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Some of his most popular songs include, Free Fallen, American Girl, and, I Won't Back Down, all of which helped establish his name and solidify his status in the rock music scene. Tom Petty is remembered for his classic rock style characterized by his distinctive raspy voice and profound lyrics that resonate with themes of freedom and reflect the struggles of individuals in modern society. He received numerous prestigious music awards, including a Grammy, and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2002. Beyond music, Tom Petty was also actively involved in charitable and social causes, contributing to environmental protection and human rights campaigns. He was a passionate advocate for positive change in society, Tom Petty passed away on October 2, 2017, from cardiac arrest, with the cause determined to be an accidental overdose of prescription pain medications. After his death, he was widely remembered and honored by the music community and fans around the world. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic journey through the 1980s music scene. We hope you enjoyed catching up with the stars of that iconic era. If you loved this trip down memory lane, don't forget to subscribe to Hollywood Inside 1960s and hit the notification bell so you never miss our latest updates. Share your favorite 80s star in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next video.